right, and we are back. We are watching the sons and daughters of Matt Klachewski taking on Velocity. An all Manitoba team taking on a Manitoba, Quebec, and Alberta team. Sons and daughters of Matt Klachewski. We have a strong roster, probably one of the biggest I've seen so far during this tournament. A lot of kids that Mr. Klachewski himself has mentored and uh, helped throughout the dodgeball process. He is coaching them on the sidelines. And then we have Velocity full of uh, a lot of competitive players. Mackenzie getting hit out. Four players left now for Velocity. Shot at Ferreira. Ferreira misses. Dodge is up, but it does connect. So it's going to take it down now to just three players for Sons and Daughters. Four balls on the court now. Sons and Daughters burden to throw. It's a 4v3 situation. Four balls in hand. Burden on the Sons and Daughters. Going for Ferreira. He dodges both of them. Comes up to the line. Ready to take that attack. strategy shot clock counts down looks like that was an exchange between the two of them Gatza gets hit out down to two now on the sons and daughters side Four balls in hand, shot clock counting down. Going for Ferreira. Ferreira blocks one up. They aren't able to make a team catch from it. Block sideways. Nice block on the retreat, actually. Looks like we have a loose shoelace, though. Cross court shot and a block. This team. <laughs> you're just coaching it. I just, I'm not coaching them either. I'm, I'm just a uh, mascot of sorts. Ah, you're the mascot. Okay. Uh, I can tell you all about them if you want to know. Uh, yes, because I don't know who anyone is. Okay. Well, that's Robbie Scott in the blonde, uh, spiky hair, and we got Jacob Millman closest to us. Uh, Jacob Millman. He's got just crazy throw mechanics. Look at that throw, though. Great that was a throw. Good win. Big win. Big win by the, uh, the family. So how did you become the mascot for this team? Well, this team are all uh, my ex-staff members back when I uh, ran Camp Stevens. Oh, so, okay. Uh, I thought you were like a, a mentor for them. Well, I was. Well, I guess, yeah. You know, <laughs> that's, what, that's what a boss does. Fair enough. Oh, they got Natasha? Wait, they can't do that. <laughs> put Natasha on the court? Yeah, they're allowed to do that. All right, well, anyways, I didn't know she was on the team. Yeah, she's on the roster. All right. So, all right, we got Tyler Wong in the pink shorts. We got Bronwyn Smith with the leopard print. We got Stefan Scheibel Schuer with the stripy pants. Uh, Tyler Wong getting hit. Uh, Jacob Billman not getting hit. We've got Caitlin, who was actually not, I don't know that well, but uh, she seems great. All right, and then the opposite side, we've got uh, four balls in hand. It looks like Amel Gatza. And, ooh, that was uh, Ferreira and Hamel taking the shot at... Millman. And that's an elimination hit. He's not a mill boy. He's a mill man. <laughs> a 
Big block by Shadow Sure. Oh, and with the counters hit. I don't know who threw that, but good for them. Burden to throw is going to be on Velocity. Is that what they're called? That is what they're called. They are a mix of Manitoba, Quebec, and Alberta players. Good for them. Indeed. All right, so they have four I balls. I taught them how to do that. To uh, bunch up to, and to discuss. Bunch, to, to, make, to huddle and make plays. Ah. Before I came along, they were just huddling up and not making plays. They were just hanging out. Oh, big block by Scheibel, sure. And he stays in, too. Stays in Lewis is just footing toes. a little bit, but manages to pull himself back in. I taught him that. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, they got to get there. Brown Smith can move. Three balls in hand now. Almost a full send for the uh, Sons and Daughters team there, but they managed to keep one in hand. A return shot did manage to hit uh, Gatza out. Oh. Going for McKenzie now. Man. McKenzie managing to just okay. <laughs> swish himself <laughs> and out. Yeah, you got to take care of your small person. There is also a small child here in a frog costume, and he has to use the lavatory, so Klachewski will be back. Coming up to the line, ready to take that shot. Goes through the players, telling him to slow it down. Ferrer is going to make the play call. And that was in the striped shorts. Scheibel Schuer, I believe. O'Reilly going for the catch, unfortunately doesn't quite make it. Return fire shot, taken out, I believe, Millman. Going for the block, unfortunately it does connect. And McKenzie taking them out. Unfortunately they just uh, are up right at the line. And we are gonna go into, no, we're not gonna go into anything right now. It just, it looked like we were unsure if that was a hit or not. Um, you can tell they're still a bit of a newer team, even though they are playing in the competitive dis division because they are keeping their, they just kind of drop the balls where they get hit. They are able to toss them to a teammate uh, once eliminated, so something to keep in mind. Probably about three minutes now left on the game clock, give or take. Three and a half. It is a 1-1 situation. The sons and daughters are doing a great job of holding their own against the Velocity team players who have a lot of years of experience on these players. Uh, Amel getting eliminated. Four balls in, er, three balls in hand, burden on sons and daughters. And off the block there, drops the ball. So it's down to uh, 5v5. They're slowly whittling away each other one by one. Big block up and a catch from Noel. I believe that's Noel. Four balls in hand now. Gatza coming up to the line doing fake throw. Trying to psych them out. Oh, big catch. Trying to make it happen twice. Unfortunately, doesn't get it. So strike shorts now is Scheibel Shore. Off of the block there. That was wrong. So I believe that is Millman with the blonde hair. I'm learning them for the first time, so I did get them backwards. Nice shot from McKenzie there. And that was the last player in, so that is another point now for... Team Velocity, I believe. 
Ref hasn't flipped the score yet, but I believe it's 2-1 right now. Got a minute left. Right through the center there. Another big shot. Double shot, I think. Yes, it was. Both the players removed themselves. Down to just three now, taking a shot at Hamal. Manages to get himself out of the way. Nicole managing to stay in. Big catch by Hamal. Hamal. And that's going to bring Noel back in. And turning to get out of the way, Scheibel Schwer gets hit in the butt. It's just Millman left. Millman with a block and then lines himself out. <laughs> so it's going to be 3-1 now. Reset. And switch sides. So it did go into no blocking, I believe. I think they started the round in no blocking. I wasn't 100% on that one. Velocity is currently in the lead. that opening rush again. Ferrer was going for it too. Tries to go for Wong. Wong manages to stay in. Gatza coming up to the line. for the catch on Tomchuk. Tomchuk gets hit in the chest, pops up, and Ferreira manages to catch it. That's going to make an elimination now just down to two women players for the Sons and Daughters team against almost still the full line of velocity. Both players managing to stay in. And velocity actually still with their full line of six players. They are playing a little bit more laissez-faire in the second half. They are currently up by two points. Looking shot at Ferrer for her managing to dodge that one. Follow-up shot from McKenzie. She gets out of the way. Just the one player left, but McKenzie makes the catch. Four points now. McKenzie brings it right in. Almost looks a little bit guilty about that elimination catch. Wong getting eliminated off of that opening rush. Sending him alone, trying to sweep those three balls over. Should have sent two and done a pitch. 
punched up a little bit, but managed to retreat as soon as they saw Gatza coming up. Takes a shot right in the throat on Ferreira. He gets eliminated. That's going to give more balls over to the side of Velocity now. They've got five balls in hand. Making that play call. Shot clock counts down, and there goes Scheibel Schur. And right in the hip. count coming down from the two. Love that follow-up shot as they are on the retreat. It's just the uh, one player now left against five players on the velocity side. Nice block up. Nice block out. Big shot up and ooh, a line out as Hell goes to catch it. Kenzie going for the catch there. Pops right off of his chest. Nice little arc. <laughs> Gatsa just finishes it. One now, nice retreat off that opening rush when they send two, managing to block that one. Keep all the balls in hand. Four minutes now left on the game clock. O'Reilly goes for the catch. Unfortunately, doesn't quite make it. Gaza takes a shot on Wong, and Wong does get hit. Four balls now, Velocity talking it out. Five players. Shot clock counting it down. And two at Scheibel Shore, but Millman stays in. Gatza calling himself out on that one, confirming it. Gatza always very honest about those hits. Even if you think it didn't hit him, he, he feels it and he calls it. <laughs> Mackenzie was not watching that one. And he gets tapped in the chest. Right in the dad bod. More balls in hand now. There's two players left on the velocity side. There is a chance the sons and daughters can get another point. Ooh, nice follow up from the knees. Rushes for it, goes for it. There is an elimination made, and it is just the two women players left now for the... Oops. ML calls himself off. It is just Tom Chuck left now for Velocity. going to tell him to slow down just a little bit, even though he does have burden. Into a 1v1, goes for Tomchek. Tomchek gets wide of it. They're in there trying to block. Right between the legs. Blocks down the second one. Tomchek catches, though. And that's going to take it to 6-1. to one. So Velocity absolutely dominating this one against the sons and daughters of Matt Kuchewski. Got about a minute 30 left. There's a good chance this one is going to go into no blocking. And then up next, we've got Big Brother Energy taking on Mother Duckers. Big Brother Energy being a Manitoba team and Mother Duckers straight, as, straight out of Saskatchewan.
one to five on the sons and daughters side. Nice ball. Oh, catch. Wasn't even expecting to make it, but makes the catch. Gets that player back, so it's a full lineup of six for the sons and daughters. They bunch up. Almost in a very nice K-pop group pose there to discuss their strategy on where they're throwing. Nice big wind-up shot. Goes through Tomchuk and O'Reilly, though. Nice block down by Wong. Fifteen seconds left. It is not sudden death. No blocking yet. We are going to wait for that clock to count down again. And... Now we are in no blocking on our side of the court here. We are going to reset at the line. All balls have to start in hands of players. Feet on the back line. Release once the whistle is blown, and then you cannot block with the ball no matter what you do. In this no blocking round, it could be another point for sons and daughters, or it could be a seventh point for velocity. And Tomchuk gets hit. ML goes for the catch. Unfortunately, wasn't able to make that team catch. It's a... 2v4 situation right now for Velocity. They've only got the two players on, but they are strong players. Ooh, went for the catch, didn't quite make it. Just O'Reilly left, and O'Reilly gets hit in the foot, so that's going to end this one up now. It is Velocity takes it 6-2. to two. I said coming up next, we've got Mother Duckers taking on Big Brother Energy.